Hello ladies and gentlemen, Esso here bringing you guys episode 8 to my modded Minecraft series. I really hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I am enjoying playing with all of these new mods and I am really, really excited for today's episode. Just something I want to point out before we get into this guys, a tiny bit of a change up in the uh, way we're doing this at the moment. I am currently running the mod pack on a server. Uh, for two reasons, one to help with doing things AFK and we can know some things are being done off camera and off the server, especially once I get this area chunk loaded. As well guys, I have gone ahead and tried out Bevo's texture pack, he has uh, Put in the mod pack, you can enable that for the mod pack to download as sort of an optional mod. I did that and it's pretty nice. It's mainly the faithful texture pack for vanilla and I really like how things look in it. Let me know your feedback guys, it's not too big of a change from vanilla, it's just really nice and clean. So anyway, today guys, as I promised in the previous episode, we are working on Flaxbeard Steam Power. I am really excited about this mod. It's really funky. It does a lot of cool functionalities that you that a lot of mods do. We can double ores with it. We can actually mine ores with it. We can fly. There's armor. There's tools. There's so much cool stuff. Now, mechanisms, like I mentioned, previously is probably an easier path to go down but this mod looks so cool and I'm so excited to use it guys. So that is what I'm going to dedicate this episode to and maybe a few more episodes to come. There's a lot involved in this mod and this this episode we're really just going to get into the beginning of this mod and I hope I have the resources possible to do this. So you need this book first, guys. We made it in the previous episode. It's just made with a book, a bit of tin and a bit of copper, something like that, a bit of zinc and a bit of copper. Uh, so, yeah, and then you get the, uh, what's it called? The esteemed innovation. And we need this bad boy. It is your guide to Flaxbeard steam power. So, to begin with, we are going to need a crucible. Yeah, there's a few previous pages guys that talks about some weapons these are really cool they look very interesting as well as just some basics to the mod pack but what we need to begin with guys is metal casting and crucibles there's two ores that generate in the world with this mod and that is copper and zinc copper obviously is very uh lot there's lots of copper in the world from other mods being mechanisms and industrial craft uh so first anyway guys we need a crucible once you've got a bit of uh, copper and zinc you can go ahead and pretty much start this you're gonna need some bricks so we need the crucible. I have finally found a way to create alloys out of various metals. The crucible. To use it, I place a ceramic crucible over a hot fire. I can then toss in various types of processed metals, but not ores. This metal will melt into liquid and form into alloys if possible. Right clicking on the crucible with an empty hand will pour this liquid metal into an adjacent mold. So this is how we make the crucible guys. I've gone ahead and made some bricks off camera. We collected quite a bit of clay. Um, so let's go ahead and make our crucible. Awesome. So what do we do with this bad boy? We need to place it under a fire. I'm hoping a lava heat source also works, guys. So let's just go place... I don't have a lot of space in this sort of area, but let's try and work with it. Where can I put it? Let's just put it here. Maybe. Or maybe... Uh, no, that's not right. Uh... I can't fit it anywhere here. Let's put it outside somewhere. 
I guess I can fit it outside here. Let's place the lava and then let's place our crucible. Awesome. I don't know if there's any way to tell if this is working or not. Oh God, that probably isn't the best idea. Let's quickly <laughs> place down some cobble here. Or some clean stone, I should say. Lovely. And then we're also going to need the mold block. The crucible is useless without a way to cast the metal, the melted metal into usable shapes. That's where molds come in. Simply place a mold block with the open end facing a crucible. Right clicking the mold block will open or close it. Right clicking with a mold will place it in the mold block. The mold can be removed by shift right clicking. To, to cast metal, I first close the mold and pour in liquid metal. Then I open the mold and retrieve my casted metal. Okay. And that's how it's created, guys. So let's do that quickly. We have a mold block. So we place that down next to the crucible. I feel this stuff is giving me lag, guys. Oh, what? Oh, wow, that is really cool. But I do feel that I'm getting very, very heavy frame rate with this. I just want to break that. Oh, wow, I'm also getting lag as well. Only bad thing about running mod packs on servers or minecraft in general on servers uh anyway let's continue now we need the open part facing the crucible so like so i assume and now we need the molds themselves Molds can be placed in the mold block to set the output of the mold. Right clicking with a carved or blank mold on a mold carver will change the mold type, cycling through options. Okay, so that's how we make a blank mold and then that's our carving table. So let's make that bad boy. We go like that. And then we need a crafting table. And did I do that wrong? Uh, molds. Oh, wh whoops. I do not need a crafting table. That is incorrect. We need the blank mold. And we need actual planks around it. Let's get your head in the game. Okay, here we go. So let's place that down right here. And we just make a mold. Lovely. Is that... Oh, yep. Nice and easy. Very nice and easy. Now, um, where are we? Yeah, where, I can't even speak English. It's very late here at the moment, guys, but I really wanted to get into this mod so I can do a little bit off camera and progress through it a bit more. Uh, plates. Using a new metal casting apparatus, I have devised a way to use metals more efficiently. I am able to cast metal plates at a fraction of the cost of an ingot, and these plates may be used in place of ingots in many instances. Okay, so that is really cool, guys. Brass. Brass is one of our main uses for the uh, Flaxbeard steam power. I have created a new alloy that looks promising. Three parts copper and one part zinc creates brass, a shiny gold-like alloy. 
bra seems to resist corrosion, something that should prove useful, aka it won't be affected by steam over long periods of time. And gilded iron, finally, guys. I haven't seen a use for this yet, but I've found a way to combine the sturdy composition of iron with the magical capabilities of gold gilding. I can coat iron ingots and tools with gold to combine their abilities. Simply right-clicking on a crucible containing gold with an iron ingot will use up one nugget's worth of gold, leaving me with an ingot that is encompassed the strength of iron and enchantability of gold. None of that makes too much sense to me. Um, but anyway, guys, we have somewhere to begin here. And what we need all of these part stuff for at the first point is a boiler to actually create steam, which is going to power everything, guys. So we need brass ingots. As you can see here, you can also use plates, which is so much more cheaper, guys. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that, but we need some brass first. So I need to chuck in three copper. Oh God, and one zinc, oh God, that's not good, what the hell, oh it broke, okay, we may need to change this location up before we burn down our whole area, but I assume we have bronze guys, so... Let's turn this into plates. And we've put the mold in. Now we pour it out. Oh God. I see how this works. That is really cool. Um, let's move this though, because it's obviously in the wrong spot. Put in our plate mold. No, does it have to be closed? Um, I may need to read this quickly again. Oh, wow. Oh, we got it. A brass plate. Lovely. So, how many do I need of those? We need eight of those. Okay, this is quite a slow process. But it is pretty cool and funky, guys. So, we're going to go with this. We're going to spend a little bit of time. Oh, now I need to do that. No. Oh, there we go. It's doing its thing. This is so laggy, guys. It's a bit ridiculous, if I must say so myself. But there we go. We are creating brass plates, guys. Slowly but surely. I'm interested to see how many I get. If I get eight plates out of this, that's pretty much doubling the efficiency if you sort of know what I mean, if I were to create, I assume this is four ingots worth. Um, being one zinc and three copper. But maybe I get a lot more plates out of it. Therefore, you guys know what I mean. Uh, therefore, a lot more efficiency in our crafting in, of the boilers and all different types of stuff from this mod. This is a little bit confusing what you need to do first and then do next. But uh, yeah, I don't even really need to cut here. We can do this quite quickly. And then we can create our boiler. Let's quickly have a look at that, guys. I have made a device that allows for the production of gaseous water. Steam. If I insert water and fuel, steam will be produced. This steam can then be piped out the top. So lovely. Uh, let's continue doing this. Is there 
Oh, we've got five. Oh, I need to close that quickly. Was it quick enough just now? Oh, yeah, that's cool. You can do this quite fast. Oh, but we're empty. We got six out of it, so I think that's probably a little bit more efficient. I can't tell 100% because I don't know uh, exactly how many ingots I would get out of it. But anyway, let's grab our last two plates here and we are going to get our boiler very shortly. Lovely. Go like that. Let's go grab a furnace real quick. Grab some cobblestone. The lag is so real, guys. Oh, what, what just happened? Okay, there we go. Lovely. Grab our last plate. Oh, where did that go? Hello? Did that just go back in the crucible? Is that possible? There we go. Okay, we have enough. Let's make our boiler, guys. Awesome. Okay, we have a boiler. What do we do with said boiler? Let's place it down. Let's grab some water. And we have filled it up with some water. Let's put in some coal. Lovely. Okay. Are we generating steam? Maybe? Why does it have two slots here? We are burning, but what are we burning? Are we using up fuel? There's no meter to to say, oh, yep, there we go. We're getting some steam now, guys. So, I guess we need... The Flash Boiler is an upgraded version of the other boilers, guys, so we won't be looking to, into that straight away. But we have pipes, guys. So pipes are quite easy to make with uh, brass plates or ingots. Steam is useless without a way to move it about, but I've struggled to find a way to move it effectively. Brass pipes are able to resist corrosion and thus make the perfect conduit for steam. Combining a lever with a pipe allows me to toggle the flow of steam. Right-clicking on this valve will on this valve pipe will open and close the valve. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now, what am I going to power to begin with, guys? I don't know how. Like, there's got to be something. Steam filler. Or tanks. Pipes are great for transporting steam, but I've grown weary of refilling the boiler every time I need more. I've created tanks to remedy this problem. They store large amounts of steam so I can save some for later. Okay, awesome. That's really nice to know. And steam filler. Pipes are great for transporting steam to fix machines, but they're not much good to supply power to tools or armor. That's where the steam filler comes in. Simply place in a, st in a steam using device and wait. Okay, very simple. And steam heater. Now I can power furnaces. That is really cool, guys. Obviously, stick this, the furnace above the heater and it will power it. That is really cool. Obviously, it's going to be more efficient. Steam heats the copper coils and allows a furnace to smelt without fuel. More heaters will smelt faster but use more steam. Okay. Um, 
I think that's a good place to start, guys. There's a lot of other stuff to begin with, but we're gonna need a fair few of these items. So what I'm gonna do is do quite a bit of crafting off camera, uh, pretty much just a heap of brass plates. There's gotta be some way to automate this. There's gotta be. Anyway, guys, I will be back very shortly. I think all I need is a ton of brass plates. Let's quickly have a look at maybe some tools I want to look at making. The steam drill, the steam saw, the steam shovel, iron, brass turbines. It's pretty much all brass. Where's the pipes? pipes. Yeah, it's all brass plate guys, pretty much. So I need just a ton of that. I'm going to do a heap of that off camera guys. There is so much to this mod. There's mining, there's repairing with anvils, there's tools, there's exosuits. Guys, there's just a whole bunch of stuff we can work on in the next few episodes. We're not finished yet. I will be back shortly. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I've done quite a bit of, let's call it smelting off screen and uh, off camera, I should say. And we have quite a bit of brass plate and a few other little items, some brass nuggets. It, it's pretty quick. And when I'm not recording, this is a lot less laggy, guys. Uh, but it does cause a little bit of lag, this mod, it seems. One more thing I didn't think I pointed out yet, guys. The Spice of Life is currently disabled uh, on this server due to some bugs we were having. Um, so, yeah, and not having a lot of foods in this generation. So we've gone ahead and disabled that for the moment. It's not a big deal. Spice of Life is a bit weird. It, it's, I don't know, it, it could be done a lot better. Similar to Terracraft, uh, Terra Firmacraft, sorry. Uh where this is done just randomized like it doesn't take any vitamins or proteins into account whatsoever but anyway guys we are continuing with flax beard steam power i am really hoping today we can get a jetpack that was my main reason for looking into this mod at the beginning there's a lot of really other cool stuff i want to look into now that i've looked into the mod though uh, but we want to grab our boiler. We tested it out. We tested it here. So we want to grab that. We're going to need a few other items here to semi-automate our steam production, at least getting water into our boiler. So what we need is a screw. Where is this thing? Why can't I see it? Here we go, Archimedes screw. I've created a way to move liquids into adjacent inventories. Placing and powering this screw will move liquid sources from the lower end to inventories on the higher end, allowing me to fill boilers and other tanks with ease. This sounds like a really cool item, guys, and we are gonna go ahead and make that. So we need some glass. I do not have a lot of glass. What is going on here? Um, I've got so much sand. Let's put it on furnace only. Otherwise, we get the end I.O. sand. So let's quickly do that and grab ourselves some glass. I'm surprised I didn't have any other glass here at the moment. Come on. Okay, let's grab some glass panes. Lovely, we need those there, was it? Let's quickly check. Okay. That. That, that, that. Beautiful. And we have an Archimedes screw. Another thing I want to make, guys, is a tank. And this is going to allow us to store steam. I also need some iron. Mm. 
and we need a compass to make a, is that? No, it's only nuggets. This will give us a steam gauge, which will allow us to read the amount of steam in the tank, or is it just the pipes? Within a conduit. I can simply slap on one of these to a boiler pipe. To, yeah, so it, it sticks on to anything, which is really cool. Another thing we're gonna need, guys, is the pipe itself. So I think we go like that. Lovely, we probably want a little bit more of that. And I guess because it's what we're aiming for to begin with is a steam filler, which is the item that fills all the different uh, tools and jetpacks and exosuits. So pipes are a great Pipes are great for transporting steam to fix machines, but they're not much good to supply power to tools or armor. That's where the steam filler comes in. Supply, simply place in a steam using device and wait. Okay, so we just need cobble and three pipes. Very easy to make. Like so. And we have ourselves a steam filler. So, let's go, oh God. Please stop burning down. Okay, let's go over here. I think we're going to place down our Archimedes stuff just here for now, because I don't have much room inside. I don't really have a room I can dedicate to it at the moment. So I'm going to make a infinite water source just here. Let's grab, can I grab water from here somehow? please. No. Um, damn it. Okay. Let's go like that. Let's grab some water. Lovely. Oh, I did not place that properly. Okay. Now let's check out this Archimedes screw. Well, I guess we put down the boiler first. Does it just go like so? Oh no, that's not right. We need to place it from the other direction. It's really cool how it spins in your hand. Okay, I think we need the water one more back. So let's pick this up. Oh God, is our place burning down? I guess there's not a lot of wood that can burn. Oh, there is a bit. Damn it, I'm gonna have to move this later too, guys. Let's pick up the lava for now and put it back in the tank. Lovely. Come over here and let's place down our boiler and our Archimedes screw. Still not picking up water. Does it need to be at that height? So if we grab some cobble, go like that. And like that, that, that. Uh, hello? It looks like it should work, but it doesn't seem like it's going to, guys. I was assuming it does it from a water source and not like a tank. Archimedes screw, I've created. Oh, powering. So it needs a redstone signal. I did not notice that. Okay, let's go like so, grab a lever.
No, it should be spinning, shouldn't it? That's not powered correctly. Why is it... Can I just... Place it on it? Damn it. Why are you not working? Do I need to power it with steam? That doesn't make sense. That is... Maybe it does need to be lower now. And if we power it... No. If we power it... No. Do we need another... Are we in the wrong spot? Let's grab... Oh, we've got another bucket of water. Whoops. This is quite confusing, guys. I don't exactly know how to use the Archimedes screw right now. Unless it goes above. That is, I don't know, guys. Does that need to be on top of the boiler? Like I'm just looking at where those pipes sit and whether they indicate anything. See, so now that just looks weird. Where here, it sort of looks exactly like what we need. But I don't know what powers it. I do not have a clue, guys. So we're going to have to manually put the water in for now. Wow. Where did my... Oh, that's a bit weird. I keep losing my bucket. Let's move this damn lever. That is so weird. Give me my bucket back. Oh, I destroyed the water source. Um... Oh, there we go. That is so bizarre. But we do have some water in here. So let's put that coal back in. Let's start making some steam. I'll look into why I can't get the Archimedes screw going at the moment, guys. But let's take this pipe out. It seems to have connected okay. Now let's put down a tank. And let's install the steam gauge on the tank. Is that moving at all? I can't, there's no UI for the tank whatsoever. It seems, do I need to power this stuff? Like, pipes. That's only to allow the flow of steam. Does this need to be in a different place? I'm not having much luck with this at the moment, guys. Where do the pipes need to pull out of? Perhaps the top? Let's try that. Oh, there we go. There we go, guys. We have some steam going into the tank. That is really cool. Now, what we need is the tank. Now, I think I'm going to make a valve pipe here so that I don't blow up. I'm assuming these machines blow up. So let's put a pipe to that. No? That's weird. We're losing pressure. 
Let's just quickly read over the steam filler again. Okay, it must go below it, you would assume, wouldn't you? Let's grab that. We're going to put the valve one here. So we can turn... That is really cool. Uh, and then let's place one more pipe. And let's put this above. That looks like it worked, hasn't it? Oh, there's no menu to this either. There's no UI. It's You must just place them in, click them in. So I guess another gauge would be pretty nice. Oh, wow. We have been through all of that water already. Well, let's just go see. So what I need is some sort of tool. I'm pretty keen to try and make the jetpack if I can. Uh, let's quickly see if that is going to be possible. The steam jetpack. I've developed a rather exciting exosuit upgrade. Oh, we have to make the exosuit first. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Engineering table. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe let's look at the tools upgrades as well. I doubt they are. Following the success of my Rock Smasher and Thumper, or which we haven't used yet, guys, so it's getting a little bit ahead of things, but I just want to check out this Steam thing uh, and see if I can actually get a tool running today. I ventured to make more portable versions of these rock-breaking tools. Finally, my work has come to fr fruition in the form of the Steam Drill, Saw, and Shovel. These three tools can be filled with steam and do not break. They must be spun up in order to be used effectively. Right-clicking while holding a tool will spin it up using steam and speed up the tool. Unlike normal tools, mining itself does not use steam. Okay, this looks like it's going to be pretty easy to make, guys. I'm going to go ahead and make a steam drill. I'm going to need three iron plates. So let's grab a piece of iron quickly and throw that in the crucible, which I removed the lava from. Let's put that back in. Awesome. And then we're going to need the plate out of here. Hello, turn that back into plates, sorry, the mold. We turn that from nuggets into plates and then we pour the iron in. Hopefully we get three plates from one uh, ingot, we'll see. Yep, seems like that's going to be the case. Oh, oh no, that's not the case. Wow, okay, we need more iron. You do not get many plates for iron, that is for sure. Maybe one and a half, so it's a little bit more efficient than ingots. Let's grab that. Awesome, one more. Okay, and then we need... I think we have everything else we need. We have pipes. Let's quickly double check on the recipe. Okay, pipe. Oh, we just need a brass turbine finally. So let's quickly look at how to make that back on page one. Here we go. We just need a nugget and four plates. Beautiful. Nugget and four plates. Okay, let's grab our brass turbine. We need that. Was it two pipes? Three iron? The rest plates? Possibly, no, that is incorrect. Um, let's double check again. Ah, okay. One thing wrong. 
Lovely, we have a steam drill, guys. Let's go see how good this is and how efficiently it works. There's no steam in it at the moment, so I cannot spin it up, it seems. But let's get some water. We need to fix this infinite water source. Okay. This bug with the... This is really annoying, guys. I'm wondering if I can just feed water in from Buildcraft, but Buildcraft doesn't pick up the, uh... Oh, you sort of just press twice, and it... That is a little bit annoying, but I guess it sort of works. Okay, it's creating steam. We are generating steam. Is this on or off? Seems to be on. Okay, there's our drill. We are creating steam. We've still got quite a bit of water in there. Okay, let's turn this on. And we can see it start to charge. You can see that particle effect, guys. God damn, the rain, go away. Still got plenty of water. The steam is going out of the tank very quickly. But we are very, very slowly. Oh, no freaking way I broke it. No way. I didn't think it could break. Okay, I just broke my drill, guys. Um, I will be back in a second once I have another one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and this is a little bit buggy, guys. I went and made another drill. I put it on my hotbar, and it was like a double layer of the drill, like the other one I had was still currently on my hotbar. And it also had a charge, but it ran out very quickly. I don't know what was going on, but uh, now we are... I've been here a little bit just feeding it water and coal, creating some steam, and we've gotten the drill a little bit charged up, guys. So let's have a look here. We're holding it. We right-click to spin it up. Or do we hold... No, it's spinning. Or do we have to hold... Oh, we hold right-click. Is that the idea? Where's some cobble I can break? But that's sort of quick. What's the other bar? Is that how fast we are spinning? Oh, it wasn't a duplication. I see what's going on. So now our drill is slowly spinning down, slowing down, therefore using less steam, but it is still currently using steam. If you know what I mean, guys. This probably isn't the best tool. There's probably a lot better tools and mechanisms. I'm probably going to look into mechanisms very shortly, guys. But I just wanted to have some fun with Flaxbeard Steam Power. Because these tools are pretty funky. They work in weird ways. But that's a pretty cool tool. It's definitely quicker than my Iron Pickaxe. I would nearly say it's as fast as a unenchanted Diamond Pickaxe. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to slowly fill that up, and I guess we can take it mining with us. It's not the most useful item, guys, but the exosuit is going to be very cool. So, in between this episode and next, I am going to work on a little bit of stuff. I'm probably going to do uh, a flash boiler, 
well, at least create the things necessary for this. This is the next tier in boilers, and I really want to do that. I need to research on how the Archimedes screw works, or a different way of getting water into the boiler, um, and possibly some more tanks to store the steam in, and I'm going to need to do a bit of research on how much these can explode, how much damage they can do, and at what point do they explode. So yeah, uh, I apologize for the dog barking guys. I will see you guys in the next episode. Leave your feedback down below. Rate the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I'll see you guys in episode 9. Peace out.